Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to FXED webinar. Today, we are going to talk about the modified version 2 of the G7 system that also I've been using for more than, let's say, six years. So I modified uh, the system a bit, and this is the second version of the system that uses completely uh, default indicators that can be found on, of course, the FXDD platform. Before I start, have in mind that Forex trading carries a high level of risk that is not suitable for all investors. Please educate yourselves on the risk associated with Forex market before you start trading live. Everything you see and hear from me is my personal opinion only. Use these web addresses to sign up for more live educational and trading videos. So now we are ready to proceed, guys, and let's start with the G7. I will actually open the chart. And uh, I hope that this will be uh, very clear. The system is pretty much straightforward. And uh, as I said, it uses uh, custom uh, made indicators, uh, uh, it uses default indicators made uh, by the MT4 development team. And they can be found on the standard FXDD MT4. Okay, so give me a few seconds uh, just to uh, pull it up. So let's see uh, the template. There is a bit of, uh, there were some problems with my internet connection, but uh, I am definitely, uh, it's very good now. So the connection is good. Just give me a few seconds. Okay, there is uh, actually the template that I'm going to create right now. So guys, here we go. For the G7, you can uh, open the, the template that is blank. So we will just uh, put the blank template. Just let's see. Okay, here we go. And this is it. Uh, without the Camarilla, you can place any other pivot you want. So this is it. We also don't need these indicators. This is old version. And we go with, uh, with, 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 let me check. You don't need this, you don't need this, you don't need this. What we are going to use is, uh, uh, the only thing that we are going to add is, of course, uh, Fibonacci retracement tool. Now, uh, let me start with the G7 version 2. Uh, here is the list of indicators that we are going to use. 200 period simple moving average set on close. I put it as a red color. Next one is 100 ma k okay, put on simple and apply to close it's a blue color the third moving average that we are going to use is a green lime green color you can of course choose whatever color you want but this is my uh, take uh, 50 period simple moving average apply to close Okay, and we have Bollinger Band set on 100 with a, a two period deviation. We also have uh, the band set on 200 with two period deviation. We have the RSI, okay, set on uh, weekly time frame, okay, and it is uh, six. And we have stochastic oscillator with 14, seven, three. Price field is low to high. Moving uh, average method is simple. So this is basically a counter trend trade a basing method usually, but also it can apply to trends. And how we are going to use it is pretty much straightforward. So as you can see here on this chart, we have uh, moving averages and Bollinger Bands. Bollinger Bands are red, thin red, okay, uh, and thin blue while moving averages are uh, thick green, thick, uh, thick lime green, thick blue, and thick red. So the basic premise is to use candlestick pattern, chart pattern formations in combinations with support and resistance level confirmed by Fibonacci and Stochastics 14.3.7. How you use uh, the Fibonacci retracement tool? Well, in order to trade, you should first define a trend trend is defined on weekly chart okay so we don't follow standard chart standard trend patterns such as uh lower highs or lower lows or higher highs or higher lows 
we actually need to find the previous candle that is either bullish or bearish or a candlestick formation for example the euro dollar shows a form of hammer or a piercing line because the previous two uh, let me show you quickly previous two uh candlesticks have been fully uh this is a fully bullish pattern one of the reasons why i went long with euro dollar is i also watched weekly and i made counter trend on my if you watched my a few analysis and the webinars where i traded the euro dollar to the upside but generally this is now just based on weekly see this this is weekly candlestick formation okay and here we go you have a full fledged bullish example so you have a bearish candle and a bullish hammer that almost looks like a piercing line so if this is a piercing line on weekly you uh, know that the trend could be bullish on four hour now we open four hour template template and we need to find levels of uh, support and resistance so this week started exactly uh, on 7th of October. So let me quickly mark the start of the week. So 7th of October. And you wait for a confirmation on uh, either... Now, this is important. You need to have a confirmation, guys, on uh, either, either uh, these moving averages followed by candlestick pattern or stochastics. So one of those is enough. Sometimes I think it's the best that you have both, but sometimes one of those is enough. Now, uh, retracement usually should follow uh, minimum, minimum, minimum is 38.2 all the way down to 88.6. So here we go, insert Fibonacci retracement. Here we go. I have other levels too, but see this. Ideal is to go around 56.1.8 for this kind of system. Of course, it can go to 78 or 88.6, but it's it won't happen. Uh, most of the time, it will go to or around 38.50. Or so, the first qualifier is that price hits one of those moving averages or one of bollinger bands that is the first qualifier the second qualifier is that uh fibonacci retracement is at least 38.2 or 50 at least and or the third qualifier is that stochastics goes below 20 above 20 here we have everything set up except for stochastics so it's more than enough so we have a bearish move exactly priced made a hammer at the uh, 50 moving average and 50% per, uh, of retracement. And what happened? Price went up. Targets are either moving averages or Bollinger Bands. So if we went with the first target, it should already get hit. And you can see it here. So this, this is uh, the concept that uses, uh, as I said, uses weekly trend, guys. Weekly trend. So... Uh, weekly candlestick patterns, better to say. It's not like standard uh, system that uh, uses like uh, zigzag patterns or MACDs or awesome oscillators, whatever. This is basically uh, a following concept, trend or counter trend. Now we can go with a trend because in the first version of G7, mostly it was counter trend. Now we can go with trend because weekly candlestick patterns is what matters. Of course, uh, you can use uh, some maybe indicators that can show you uh, which candlestick patterns uh, are uh, bullish or bearish. But, you know, I always like to see pin bars, hammers, uh, marubozu, piercing line. Those are my favorite, guys. And watch for that. So quickly, let's run it down one more time. Let's say GBP New Zealand. Okay, guys, see this. GBP New Zealand, obviously, this is bearish. So we want to watch for bearish trading opportunities. So GBP New Zealand is bearish. This is a dark cloud. I mean, this is not this is bearish engulfing pattern, and this is 
a form of shooting star. This is like a gravestone doji. So this is fully bearish. If you go to four hour time frame, now guys, you see here, it should retrace before you go uh, short. So let me find the retracement. You always aim for either the first swing or the second swing. We can go from the, this swing. And here we go. Now, if the price gets here in between the region and makes a reversal candlestick pattern, this will be the qualifier to go short. So candlestick will maybe it will not reach 80, but if it goes here, then even stochastic can go reach it. You know, guys, if you see the stochastic aligned with candlestick patterns here at resistance and bearish candlestick pattern, this is additional insurance that the trade is going to be good. And here we go. If this was an entry, this was a good entry here. A shooting star, you see, this is the start of the week. See this? A shooting star. Yeah, but we didn't have a retracement because, yeah, this is not a qualifier. Uh, the retracement would be only, let's see this. Actually, it is. It is. You see, the retracement came exactly to a 50. Shooting star appeared, and this was a signal for a short trade. Now, I would be watching again for a momentum up here, and then a, sh a here or eventually there, but I not, don't think that it might go there, and then wait for a bearish candlestick pattern reversal. So if, if anything is not clear, guys, just don't hesitate to ask me. But this is pretty much... Wow, this is this was very good trade. Exactly from this spot to the lower Bollinger Bands. And uh, yeah, this is the second version. Uh, modified G7. And I like how it looks because I tested it and I tried to make something also simple with more of a price section here that uh, I was going to share with you. So guys, uh, this is of course... Uh, uh, method that uh, is fully price action based. So we take candlesticks, we take um, standard moving averages, we take Bollinger Bands, and we have only indicator that we use here like, like uh, I still price action. It's stochastic because it shows us uh, overbought and oversold signals. So if your question is, why not do we use any indicator with price action? Because this is giving us overbought and oversold conditions. Now, on four-hour time frame, it is not that is important as it's on one-hour time frame. But again, if we see that uh, there is a confirmation from both candlestick panels and stochastic, we can go with higher risk because then it's a usually safe bet that the price is going to continue. So this is what I'm going to watch for. A bearish candlestick pattern reversal here, and that would be a confirmation of additional, let's say, short trade. Euro yen. I mean, let we can find one more example. Why not? Uh, now we don't have a clear weekly. This is not any. We don't have any clear candlestick pattern here. GBP Australian dollar bearish, guys. So we are going to watch for GBP Australian dollar bearish entries. See these last two candles. This is engulfing candle. This is a shooting star. Again, uh, how I teach people about candlesticks. It's not like Steve Neeson. Uh, standard uh, uh, education. So whenever the week is twice as long as the body, the candlestick is either bullish or bearish. So in this example, the, the week is twice as long as the body, and definitely this is a confirmation of a, a, a bearish move. And if you go to four-hour time frame, so we can watch for bearish reversal. A signal. So where would we go with a short entry on GBP Australian dollar going from this swing to this swing? Well, here again, if I see a candlestick pattern confirmation here, okay, then I would go with a short entry here or eventually, eventually 78 at 18.6. But this is the bigger confluence because it has 50, it has 61.8, it has two moving averages. So this is stronger resistance than original ones 88 or 78 places because we don't have a confluence so here i would be watching for any short signal of course gp is susceptible to brexit so those examples are maybe not the best best uh but at least at this point definitely i would i would look for bearish pattern confirmation so we don't enter uh like instantly when price gets in the zone we wait for a bearish candlestick uh confirmation a couple bit possibly with stochastics Let's see GBP. Uh, yeah, I was watching the GBP dollar. Yeah, big move, but I don't have a clear 
uh we need to see the pattern guys in order to enter let's let's scan first for four hour time frame and maybe we will find a pattern here weekly on dollar cad this is nothing like just a flag we don't have a breakout no candlestick pattern no candlestick pattern here the australian dollar new zealand no candlestick pattern australian dollar bullish so i expect the australian dollar to go up okay this is boo this is uh dragonfly doji very very bullish and you see that triple top so four hour time triple bottom four hour time frame yeah okay this <laughs> obviously this is happening from this spot actually from this spot would be an entry let me check something in sir fibonacci retracement from this spot to this spot and the swing came here so this was this would have been an entry here the price already went up 36 pips but this is an entry bullish hammer rejection from 50. no the stochastic confirmation also on 20. so with this trade we could have gone with double the risk now regarding stop loss this is tricky part uh targets are not tricky part you go with this this or bollinger bands or you can whatever you can you can place your own pivot points it's not that uh it's not that strict but the thing here guys is to measure the stop loss there are two ways to go with a stop loss either uh go with 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 uh, the previous swing okay so if we went long here previous swing was either there or there or you go with a full swing in this case the stop loss would be here I would probably go with 60 pips on four hour because it's it's okay. Uh, so either previous swing or full swing. And targets are very, very clear. If you have any questions, guys, do not hesitate to ask me. Um, let's check dollar Swissy because I have a long here as I, yeah, this is a long candle. This is not, but this is shoulder head shoulder formation. So we have a bigger picture here uh shoulder head shoulder actually i traded this on my camarilla macd so uh basically it it aligns with g7 too and this is it i might call this system a ga because it's fully modified from the previous version and this is bullish and my entries are in profit now and let's check something previous swing if i go with previous swing here from okay this is the start of the week swing low swing high yeah 78.6 rejection so this would have been an entry exactly very close to my camarilla make the entry here this is a form of piercing line bullish rejection straight from 78.6 yeah this is very very good usually we'll find trades between these moving averages they're very 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 clear so guys uh you can use this uh of course we are going for uh, probably I might code also indicators for this G8. I will call it, and uh, there will be maybe a, I will code a candlestick pattern indicator so it can show uh, candlestick patterns that are valid automatically. We don't need uh, to, to uh, guess. Uh, then uh, the indicator might chart the zones uh, automatically, and uh, if stochastics confirm it, then uh, uh, trades are taken with double the risk. I still need to, of course, take time for that, but this can be also used as it is now. So feel free to use it. And when I code indicators, of course, uh, you will know that. I hope that you enjoyed the webinar. I wish you a great training. I don't see any questions. So I assume everything is clear. And I will talk to you soon. Let's make pips. Cheers, guys. Love you all.